Hello everyone, it's Quest Quenches here today, and I just want to help you out with some uh, little system tweaks on your PC that you might need to do uh, specifically to get uh, sort of hell divers in a stable state, stop crashing, and all that stuff. Now, you're going to require a few tools. Don't skip any of the steps because this is exactly what I did, uh, and it managed to get it working. I got all this information from different sites and uh, videos. Uh, J's two cents PCs and stuff like that and it absolutely helped me a ton it turns out my system wasn't using the correct amount of RAM and all that stuff and the uh, I believe it was the motherboard was overwriting the G uh, the CPU uh, and it can burn out your computer and all that stuff so uh, making these alterations can uh, you know help your PC in its health and stuff like that uh, of course you know, this is just what I'm gained. Do take it all with a grain of salt. Uh, but this this is my journey and this is what helped uh, me to run Helldivers and Unreal Engine games and all that stuff. It fixed everything. Uh, so I was quite happy to discover it. Now, first of all, you need to download my Asus if you have a an Asus motherboard kind of thing. And uh, I downloaded it and, uh, and then it saw that my BIOS needed updating. I updated it in 2023 and there are quite a few versions out after it. So all you have to do is download it, put it onto a uh, an external sort of memory pens or whatever, uh, and then, you know, do an installation. Of course, I believe you should watch a video of how to update your BIOS before this, uh, specifically to do with your motherboard. So do that, follow the instructions and it should be all right. I will find a, uh, I'll find a few videos on how uh, I did mine. Uh, and how I updated my BIOS there. Uh, so it's your, uh, you know, you can click that link if you need some help updating your uh, BIOS motherboard kind of thing. Secondly, I, uh, you know, finished all that and then I also downloaded because I have Samsung uh, uh, storage. There was a few issues with them. So I downloaded Samsung Magician and they updated the drivers so they don't like break and all that stuff. And then I updated Windows 11 to its, uh, you know, not the experimental stuff or anything. If it, you know, if it says anything to do with like update this and, you know, become an experiment or whatever, just get the most recent version of Windows and sort of that. And then you have to update your graphics card uh, drivers. So make sure you're running the most recent one. Uh, I think the most recent one is good. I've uh, not had any issues or anything. So it's uh, it's running fine. It seems to be doing its job at uh, being a graphics driver and stuff like that. Uh, I think there's issues in uh, yeah, there's a few other games, but not in like Hell Divers or anything. Uh, unlike the last last two ones had uh, issues with Hell Divers, but now it seems to be fixed more or less. Uh, it's only my you know my CP my CPU my graphics card is only going like forty percent when running uh, uh, Hell Divers. Of course, that might vary to you because I've got a, a very strong card. Um, so yeah, once you do all that stuff, you uh, you want to go into the game. And I put it on uh, high sort of settings. Uh, so graphic settings, high graphic settings. I went into display and I, did, I turned it from native to quality or, or ultra quality, depending on your rig. I noticed that my... Uh, my fans ramp up a lot more when it's on ultra quality. When it's on quality, it doesn't seem to do much. Uh, now, I'm running this at 4K. I've got a 4K display and stuff like that. And uh, I can run it at, uh, you know, ultra high and all that stuff. But I seem to get a lot of stutters and stuff. So in order to help the, you know, because you wouldn't be running this game at 4K with all the demanding and stuff like that. So I've... I've put it down to quality, so it does take like the resolution back kind of thing uh, using the DL DLSS. Uh, so yeah, this is more for NVIDIA users rather than AMD users, I'm sorry. So uh, yeah, uh, and it seems to have worked quite well doing all these settings and stuff like this. Um, and yeah, that's more or less how you kind of fix the game uh, uh, for my PC. I have a no zero issues, no crashing, no nothing for... A long time now since fin fin doing this uh, so I do you know if you have a similar rig to me uh, so I'm just gonna uh, leave in the comments or the description of what my Jeep uh, what my setup is it's a very high-end rig and stuff like that it's not a NASA comp well maybe uh, it's not a NASA computer but it's it did it did cost a, a bit um, but ultimately like doing these little things is good for your system in general because I couldn't use Unreal Engine Editor 
because um, well, I've been trying to learn how to make games and stuff like that, and I couldn't use it. It was crashing every five minutes, and it was a terrible time. I updated, you know, the BIOS, the, uh, you know, the storage, the, uh, you know, the graphics drivers and all that stuff, as well as, you know, all the things I've just said. And uh, that seemed to have really stabilized my system. Now, uh, there's also in the ROG system, there is a, uh, a setting that I could change to make your system run better, use the proper amount of RAM. Uh, I will show you on screen what it, sh what it says. Edit a quest here. So basically, you've got to go into the uh, the uh, the extreme tweaker on your Asus motherboard uh, in ROG, the ROG one I've got. Uh, go into the extreme tweaker. Go to over to uh, AI overclocker tuner. Uh, change it to XMP1. Make sure you have Intel default settings and the extreme settings. Uh, not too sure about the extreme settings, but that's what it seems to be on. But uh, some reason the asus motherboard if you have, it sometimes says it has asus default settings which is not good you need to have the intel ones because you i've got an intel cpu so whatever your cpu is make sure that it uses them kind of ones and then i changed it to the xmp sort of setting and that seemed to correct the amount of that analyzed like oh you've got this amount of ram uh so let's let's go with that one instead uh which kind of fixed it uh so yeah editor editor quest out and stuff like that, it will be like, uh, it would say something like this, and then it will have a drop down, and you click that drop down, and it seems to help your system out. So I'll have it on uh, the screen right now, because as I'm recording, I'm, I can't remember it right now, but you'll see on screen that, okay, this should help. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this will help you run Haldivers. Um, you know, it's still, it, the engine itself require you know, it, the performance and everything, it does need patching it does need help it is not uh just the pcs and stuff like that it it is the the game uh and you know heavy running games that demand a lot of things tend to break quicker and all that stuff but having a stabilized system and stuff like that it's it helps you in different departments as it's helped me so i thought you know as i can run it pretty fine and stuff at 4k 60 fps constantly with a you know slightly dip settings and stuff like that it's it it feels great it runs fine and stuff like that of course i've got a beefy rig but still and it needs dusting i'm I'm just scared of dusting it um because it's static anyway so uh yeah hopefully that will help you out i think it's called like xmp1 or 2 in the bio setting uh because before i wasn't running my proper ram so it was like, oh yeah, we're just using this amount of RAM. And then I was like, no, I, I've bought this RAM, run it as RAM, and then changed it to XM, I think it's XMP1, and it uh, it worked. I'll get a screenshot on it, I'll take it with my phone or something. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that's all for me. I, uh, I hope this helps a lot. I hope it helps to clean up things and stuff, because having a, you know, with Windows 11 updating and everything, having updated drivers, updated everything is crucial. Because it it makes it unstable. Because I think Windows 11 is like a uh, we can't communicate properly with everything. Everything's not updated and stuff like that. Or you know, all your graphics drivers are can't talk to everything and stuff like that. And so it's you know it's just making sure that everything is updated, works nicely and stuff. And I haven't had any issues with the PC uh, because I've managed to update it and all that stuff. I don't have to wipe it. I don't have to do that. I just needed to make sure everything was updated. That's on. The, that's in the system. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy with it now. It uh, seems to run fine. It's great. And it's it's made me quite happy. Um, as I can, you know, I can run all me old games. Old games seem to run wide uh, with, uh, you know, with patches and stuff like that. And uh, Unreal Engine games seem to run way better now, which is great. I can actually make a game in Unreal Editor, uh, which is nice. So it's, uh, you know, it's doing these little settings, little changes and stuff has helped a lot. And just make sure you, you know, you clean up your PC generally, like, uh, you know, clean it properly. But, you know, watch a few videos before uh, just to make sure you're kind of educated and stuff like that. Uh, as well as, you know, just watch tutorials about everything that I've said and uh, it should help. Um, I'm just thankful for Jay's Two Cents to pointing out that uh, uh, motherboards are like really boiling your CPUs because it's using the motherboard configuration instead of the cpu configuration i think or it might be the opposite right down i'm pretty sure it's the cpu is not being used right 
Uh, so changing that has helped it all and stuff. So yeah, that's uh, that's more or less from me. Uh, I hope, I really hope this helps because I've been, you know, I'm still having a blast with playing Helldivers 2 um, and stuff like that. And I do, I do enjoy the game. It needs tweaks and all that stuff. It needs performance hit fixes for everyone else and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it needs to, it needs to cool. It needs to cool down. Stop, stop heating everything. Stop evaporating all me liquid cooling, please. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a mess. So it, uh, and as well as Unreal Engine games and stuff, it did not work before. But now it works fine as I've updated everything. Anyway, that's all for me. Uh, please take care of yourselves. I will put some screenshots and stuff on the uh, in the in the video so you can see like, oh my my Asus looks like that. I'll download that. Oh the Samsung Magician looks like that. Okay, I'll download that uh, kind of thing. So you know that's that's how I kind of do it. I'll also try and leave some links in description um, as well as a video to Jay's Two Cents. I think his name was. Um, yeah, I, I like that dude. He, he knows his PC stuff. Uh, to do with the motherboard, the ROG, Asus ROG motherboard kind of thing that I have. So yeah, uh, and I'll also link my, my PC setup. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that's all from me. Please take care of yourselves and see you in the next one. Goodbye.